All right, boy, is the mailbag overflowing for Hey Jimmy, and here we have arrived. You have been sending us your Browns questions with a lot of emotions, and tonight I will answer them for you. First question comes from Sarah from Medina. Hey, Jimmy, do you think the Browns are not playing OBJ more so that they can keep him healthy enough to trade him? My answer is no, Sarah. I don't think that's true. I think that right now there isn't a great market for him to be traded. In other words, if they traded him away, I don't know if they would get enough back in return because of two things. Number one, the condition of his knee, and does everybody think that he's healthy enough to be a contributing factor on their team? Number two, you pay him a ton of money. And number three, he played a lot last Sunday. He played more offensively, really, than anybody else, at least as a wide receiver in the game. I just think it's one of those things that we have to keep our eye on, and hopefully there's going to be a super game coming up between him and Baker Mayfield. Next question, please, from hashtag still a Browns fan after all these years. Hey, Jimmy, how can the Browns defense look so good for two weeks, seem to get issues with the D worked out and figured out, then take many steps backward last week with such an absolutely atrocious performance? How, Jimmy? How? And there's the emotion that I was speaking of. All right, here's the thing. All right, no excuses. But this did happen. They had a ton of injuries. They did not expect Jadavian Clowney to not play. He got hurt in the pregame warm-up on his knee. He didn't play. Then early in the game, they lost all their corners. Denzel Ward went out. Greedy Williams came out. He went back in. MJ Stewart left the game. He went out. So they lost a ton of players. Jeremiah Wusu koromoa went out. Okay, that's the excuse part. They were really down to paper thin at cornerback with a quarterback who was red hot. But number two, I get it, okay? I think once again, it goes back to not playing in the preseason together at all and certainly enough and that's why you have guys running wide open from 72 yards out or 42 yards out they simply did not play together enough and they have to solve that but you shouldn't be solving it during the regular season finally Gino from Lorraine asked this question hey Jimmy who called the offensive plays on the Browns last series against those Chargers no chub in the huddle I'm confused the head coach called the plays on the last series. And I'm confused a little bit with your question. Number one, you're right, Nick Chubb wasn't in. But I was more confused why Chubb wasn't in the series before that when they had a one-point lead and they had the ball with just over three minutes left. They needed first downs, and they went with Hunt in that regard there. Now, I love Hunt, but Chubb is always going to get you five or six yards, and then you have second and third down, you have a better shot to get a first down. They both were amazing. As for the last series, you need chunk plays. This nibbling down the field with a minute 31 left and no timeouts, well, you saw what happened. It didn't work. They need chunk plays. They need to be better in that situation and to be able to overcome that kind of mental situation that they haven't been able to defeat yet. Great questions, everybody. Keep them coming.